What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. I'm your boy Nair Chase. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the 1990 miniseries, It. Now, It is about a group of seven kids who end up encountering this creature that shapeshifts into people's, into children's uh, phobias, making them scared, and stalking them and eating them, basically. So it's them just dealing with this thing that's turned into this killer clown and fucking eating kids. But anyways... Uh, it's just based on the book, uh, written by Stephen King in 86, same name, and definitely a classic, people. It's definitely one of those film uh, series that's a classic. Now, I remember watching this series as a kid, and I guess I wouldn't say I was afraid of Pennywise, but I thought it was a pretty interesting and memorable character, so much so I maybe watched the miniseries once or twice, and still kind of had a good memory of it, like 20 years later, so... Um, is he's actually been somewhat of an interesting character and plus since pennywise has been sparked um has sparked to be this really you know effective the horror figure as a clown because clowns are already scared as it is he's definitely influenced a lot of horror films because clowns are kind of the craze now but let's actually talk about it now it is set in Derry, and we end up finding out in Derry that a bunch of these kids that are coming up missing, or if they're not missing, they're found dead. And the people, the parents, the adults really don't too much give a shit. And we find out that this clown is responsible for it. He's actually this extraterrestrial or, or interdimensional being that shapeshifts, um, but it just likes being a clown for some fucking great reason. So these six kids end up, uh, seven kids, sorry end up discovering this creature and they end up defeating it and they end up coming back uh 27 years later after vowing if it returns that they will return themselves they return beat his ass again now this is this story itself isn't really bad it's actually a pretty interesting and really deep story you get to learn a little bit about these characters and their journey and how this journey has affected each and every one of them, not only towards uh, how they f uh, view Pennywise, because Pennywise is as much as an antagonist as their challenges are in these kids' lives, which, unfortunately, I don't think the story has enough time to actually get into, because if you think about it, yes, this um, the miniseries is split up into two parts, but it's covering a thousand pages, a thousand, a twelve hundred page book, so there's a lot of stuff that was in the book that got cut out of the miniseries. But there are the story itself is actually pretty engaging, specifically during the first half when we're following these kids as they deal with uh, their day to day challenges as well as Pennywise. It's pretty um, goes at a pretty good pace. It definitely covers a lot of ground. It actually establishes a very very tense atmosphere not only on the side of you know these kids uh, dealing with Pennywise, but these kids dealing with this bully. I can't remember this jackass's name now. But anyways, uh, that that is pretty cool. And a lot of people do agree, and I agree with them, that the first half is probably the better total of the story. Now, the second half is a bit more that they have to throw out there. But I feel like the story uh, definitely slows down a lot. Uh, there is the adults, but even though you do learn a bit more about their lives, which I think they have some interesting lives, about half of them you get to see how kind of how their lives are. Uh, but throughout the other half, you really don't know much about what was going on in their life. So, uh, in terms of them being fleshed out a bit more of the story and character development and stuff, there are some bits of character development, but not really individually, I don't think. I think it's more towards each other. Like, for instance, um, I can't Ben and uh, what's the girl name? I cannot remember this girl's name for the life of me. I fucking suck. I'm a bad person. Oh, okay, yeah, Ben ends up getting with Beverly, uh, and, uh, and, uh, uh, so that's about the only bit really of character development you get pretty much from any of the characters, uh, so much as adults, but in terms of the actual story, the first half is really interesting, and it's really engaging, but the second half does tend to slow down a bit, especially with some of the, th uh, the choices of how the tension around Pennywise and them is, is there, but it's not really there at all, so about the first half, of the film is definitely worth a watch. Um, in terms of the characters, the characters are pretty cool. You get to know, especially the kids, you get more of a sympathy towards the kids than you do really them as adults. 
uh, because there are some uh, yes this their dealings with Pennywise as well as the things of their lives definitely have fucked them up you can definitely tell that it has definitely carried over into their lives some handle it better than others but for the most part you do care about the characters um, there really isn't especially the kids are pretty cool but I'm not gonna lie really the adults they don't really have a lot of depth to them. Yes, they are. They are presented in a certain way, and yes, they do. You do like the character, especially when they're all interacting with each other. But you really don't get a sense that you really get to know them, know them. But I feel like that's something that you uh, would definitely benefit from reading the book. The Bowers is, without a doubt, one of the most hated characters in the fucking world. Nobody likes this guy, uh, Henry Bowers. Yeah. Uh, nobody likes him. He's the one that's been trying to stalk these kids and fuck with them. He is just as much of an evil presence to them as Pennywise is down there. In fact, yeah, he is. He is. And really, uh, the adults and stuff, you really don't care about because you don't know shit about him. But, of course, the star of the show is Pennywise. He's very entertaining. He's very <laughs> manipulative. He's an asshole, but he's funny. He's definitely one of those villains that has a lot of personality and just definitely carries the show about him so he's pretty he's a pretty cool bad guy for the most part he's definitely the definitely has the spotlight and going towards the actors and the actresses fuck everybody else in this movie tim curry has everything hands down everybody else uh are, are okay or, or some are good some okay some could be a little bit better and it, and it varies between the kids and the adults but of course the most standout I, honestly is tim curry he definitely just carries this this miniseries. He definitely does a good job as Pennywise. He makes this character his own. I've read some of the book, um, and I think that he's actually got the the fun, charismatic uh, bit definitely down. And I really enjoy it. No wonder he's like no, known as one of like the horror figures in uh, television or movies, you know what I'm saying, in cinema. But he's definitely, Tim Curry definitely does his thing up in this character. He completely owns this. Um, if we're going to go towards, you know, the music is okay, not really uh, interesting. Really, only standout moments when it comes to the music is Pennywise's uh, circus thing. Visually, the prosthetics and practical effects are decent. The makeup, uh, clown makeup and stuff is actually pretty decent and stuff. But everything else is pretty much shitty as hell. The stop motion, the claymation, all that shit is fucking atrocious. <laughs> Uh, uh, and even, you know, with, you know, when he gets to show his fangs and stuff, he really doesn't do anything with it. There's really no gore in this movie either, because uh, he's eating kids and stuff. And I know at a certain point, you know, cinema didn't really want to see kids get killed or something like that. But this probably would be a movie where they could have uh, been a series where it probably would have benefited from showing maybe alluding to the kids getting killed or something, but you really don't see that. So the visual, visually, it's, it's decent, it's decent. Like I said, everything above uh, the practical effects is fucking trash, which it is. <laughs> but the but I say probably the worst thing about this is maybe the writing so much. There's a lot of stuff they try to pack into this, and a lot of stuff doesn't fl flow well. The pacing... Uh, a lot of bit of the character development, exposition to some of the characters. And like I said, the second house suffers from this a lot because there is no scares. The first one had a bit more scares, but I can honestly, honestly say I understand why they didn't have the scares like that because as, adult, uh, as, as adults, your fears are different than when you were a kid. When you were a kid, the fears are magnified a hundredfold. Especially you got this giant demonic clown trying to fuck with you. But if you're an adult, yes, he's a giant demonic clown. You're trying to fuck with you and he scares you, but it's not going to be the same level as a kid. So and I will say, like, he isn't really serious in the second half of it. So honestly, uh, and some of the dialogue, again, some of the characters, it just feels like it doesn't just fit well. Especially if you got such a dark tone for the first half of it, but the second half... The whole time, Pennywise is just... I mean, the first half, he's fucking with them. He's trying to kill them. The second half, he's not. He does not give two shits about, like, killing them or anything. So, that, it kind of took me back and everything. You would think he would want to have revenge or something because they fucked him up. But, yeah, um, the writing is okay. The direction is okay. I wish they, there's a lot of things they could have got done a little bit better. Really, none of the dialogue is really meaningful. I would have liked to have seen a bit more back and forth between them and Pennywise. And I would have liked to have seen Pennywise fucking with them a lot more. And honestly, that last, the final fight, the final battle was bullshit. <laughs> bullshit to the biggest extreme. I mean, that's some sloppy ass shit to deal with that. So, the writing and the direction... 
could have been better. Some of the jump, the editing could have been better. You know, a better endings, uh, especially, would have been greatly appreciated. Especially considering just how laid back the second half feels compared compared to the first half. More scares should have been uh, would have been uh, needed uh, or actually needed. You would you want to see him fucking with these characters a lot more. You want to see him actually try to kill these characters a lot more than what he actually does. There's specifically one scene where, and like every scene you see him with them as adults, he's just trying to scare them away. He's not trying to you know kill them. I understand he eats kids, but that doesn't mean he cannot kill these people. So, or eat these people, for instance. So, uh, anyways, in the end, it. The mini series in 1990 is actually pretty good. It does have a lot of pitfalls, and a lot of it does concern the second half and the storytelling, as well as direction and the writing during some of that. Some of the performances are subpar, and visually, you know, some of the special effects aren't as they have not aged well at all, and really, the music is not memorable. But having said that, the movie does have a really interesting story with some pretty interesting scares. They got some good, decent performances here. The characters are actually pretty cool and pretty likable. Fucking awesome performance by Tim Curry as the badass Pennywise. And, you know, just a, overall a pretty cool experience and a decent adaptation of a Stephen King novel, if I do say so myself. But anyways, having said that, I would like to give it a three out of five. All right, guys. So in the comment section below, let me know what are your thoughts about it, the 1990 miniseries, not the 2017 movie. <laughs> did you like it? Did you not like it? What were some aspects they could have worked on a little bit better? And uh, also, be sure to hit that like, share, subscribe, and that notification button to get the best of what we got going on this channel. We'll catch you guys later.